a good evening to you and thank you for sticking to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing. I am your host today and you are watching Power Talk. Now this evening we are dealing with family secrets. We want to understand what is the root of family secrets? Where do they come from? Who do they affect? And why do you need to understand the long-term effect of family secrets? And joining me live here in studio is Bishop Peter Patrick Moniki yes. of Life Manifestation Church. Yes. Karibu sana, Bishop. Thank you so much, Sheriff. Yes. I am Bishop Patrick Moniki Bogo, mm. and I'm the founder of the church, Life Manifestation Church, yes. where I'm pastoring. Mm. And I thank God because you have invited us today. Yeah, hey, we to, thank uh, God to, for having uh, you here. Yeah, to come and uh, share with the people of Kenya about the dangers that are accrued by having secrets mm. in our families. And you come to realize that most of the time, people have kept secrets. Yes. And they, are, they have long-term effect, either positive or negative. True. But you come to realize that most of the secrets have a very great negative effect. Mm. And they impact the family so badly. Mm. Not only to the children, and not only even to us, but even to the society. So today we are going to address that. And I pray that God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Yes, Thank amen. Thank you so much. And we're very blessed to have you here in studio. Thank and you. And as you have stated, we want to understand mm -hmm. what is the effect of this family secret so that we can take apart the disillusions mm -hmm. that we have that may cause frictions within our, our, our relations with our spouses mm -hmm. and our children as well. Yes. So I want to engage with you as well, our dear viewers. As we continue with this conversation, go to our social media platforms, which is at Y254. Make a comment, write your opinions, ask any questions that you may have about family secrets. We will address that as we progress with the conversation and we look forward to sampling your comments. You can also find me on my personal pages, which is at Cheryl Blessing. So now, mm. Bishop, as yes. we started off, you have explained that mm. they have a very negative effect yeah. and they can deeply impact even future generations. Mm. So I want to first understand mm. why are family secrets there? Why are they even present to begin with? Well, yeah, that is very good, Sherry. Uh, and uh, it is very important that we understand almost everybody, every one of us, every Kenyan has his or our own secrets. And uh, the secrets that we are going to address today are the secret most strongly in uh, the areas of families. The secret that a husband hides from the wife or a wife hides from a husband. There's a friend of mine uh, sometimes back and gotten married, but uh, the wife did not disclose that she had gotten a child outside wedlock. Mm -hmm. And after those people get, got married, married after one year, that is the time that the man realized that the wife that he had gotten married to had a child. Outside of the Yes, marriage. and that time they had already walikuwa mepata mtoto wa kwanza. And now, immediately that marriage collapsed. It collapsed immediately because that man could not understand how he could live with a wife that had a, such a deep secret. Because, you see, getting to a point of getting married, you court your wife, you go and take the dowry, everything is prepared, the wedding was done in the church. But you, uh, the man came to realize that at the end of it all, that there was a very deep secret. Because hiding a child from a man that wants to marry you until the time of marriage, that was so dangerous. That marriage just fell. We tried to bring those people together, it could not work. We want to reconcile them. The man said enough is enough. Mm -hmm. And that way we are supposed to forgive one another. I, 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 okay, in one way or the other, there, is, there was a very good ground for divorce because of the secret. Mm -hmm. But we are supposed to forgive one another. But the thing is, there is great danger that is accrued by family secrets. Mm -hmm. There are people that you come to realize that even when they get married, uh, the lady about it. And she does not tell the husband that once upon a time I was pregnant and I found that I could not carry this pregnancy. Mm -hmm. I aborted. Now immediately they get married, this lady keeps that secret. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm telling you, this thing has a ripple effect in the family. Because now that secret creates a stronghold. The Bible says in the book of Micah, chapter 1, verse 7, that God is a stronghold in the times of trouble. But they are demonic strongholds. Now, one of the ways of establishing a stronghold in a family is by hiding secrets. Mm -hmm. And the secret is dangerous. There are people that are being killed by their spouses. There are people that are being killed by their close friends. Mm -hmm. Because when they are communicating, they are good. But deep in their heart, there is a secret that they keep. Now, today we are going to address that. Mm -hmm. And we see how we can come out of this. Yes. How you can come and uh, kind of disclose the secret that you have. Uh, between, most strongly between families. Because they affect the children, they affect the society. You can't tell that somebody has killed one another. The result, the things that causes these deaths and demanders in the family is as a result of secret. Mm. A husband hides a secret from the wife. You find that a man has a, a mpango a candle and he cannot speak. Now when the lady, the wife realizes, it breaks, <laughs> it breaks the marriage. So yeah. it is very dangerous to keep a secret because you are supposed to be transparent. And in fact, if a family has to be viable and active, there has to be transparency. Mm -hmm. If a friendship has to continue, leave around the issues of the family, there needs to be there transparency. Needs to be transparency. Mm -hmm. There needs to be openness. And actually, you need to identify the kind of people that you are transparent with. It is not everybody that you can disclose your secrets to. It is not everybody that you can open your heart to. So what we need to do is that we need to engage. We need to be very careful. We need to find a true friendship. Mm -hmm. Because if someone is truly your friend, you cannot hide something from him. Mm -hmm. Even you then, God, disclose you won't disclose those secrets. secrets. There is something that you share in common because when there is a secret, that means there is hypocrisy. Mm. Eh? If you cannot disclose something to me and your friends, that means you are hypocritical. So, so it, and the hypocrites will never enter heaven. Mm. <laughs> they will never <laughs> see the kingdom. They will never see the kingdom of God. And I like the way you you you. <coughs> started by saying yes. everyone has secrets everyone. and you finished by saying mm -hmm. you need to identify who you can disclose your secrets to yes because based on the story you've given mm -hmm. there was clearly a breach of trust that is and it. when <coughs> trust is not established in a relationship mm -hmm. then it is impossible for you to move forward precisely and now that you have you you gave the example i want to understand <coughs> what do you think would have inspired this lady to keep the secret that I have a child outside of this marriage. Do you think it's because she was afraid of the reception of the secret? Or what inspires people to keep this secret? That is a very good question. There are so many things that causes people to keep secret. And you come to realize that if I disclose that I had, uh, I had another girl eh, that mm. is separated with this lady will disappear. <laughs> now, out of that, you keep a secret. Or you come to realize that if I tell this man that uh, I, be, I was in a relationship, or I was married, or I had a child, and maybe you are desperately in need of getting married. Mm. You realize that if I tell him, the man will go. Yes. So there are so many things that it causes people to keep secret. But you see, it is not healthy. Because anything that you hide, one day it shall affect you. Mm. And it's you? even said so in the Bible, yes. whatever is hidden shall come to light. Shall be, one day it shall be disclosed, it mm. shall come to pass. So instead of just hiding it, and at the end of the day, you lose everything. It is better to, to disclose it. Yes. So there are so many things. Actually, sinister motives, everybody has got his own things. Maybe you find that I'll lose this job, I'll lose this friend, I'll lose this. Th those are some of the things that causes people to hide the secret. Mm. And that is why we are, disclose we, we are asking everybody that is listening to us today, mm. please, that is secret that you are holding. Disclose it to your friend. Mm. And uh, can I say something, Sherry? They are, they are good secrets. Yeah, not every secret is bad. <laughs> yeah, it is better to speak this. Yeah. Uh, you cannot go disclosing everything about your family, for example. You cannot go disclosing everything about yourself. There are some of the things that God has, because in fact, God is a secret. The Bible says God is a God of mystery. Yeah. God himself is a secret. That is why you, you cannot wake up and face him in the office. And you say, I, I want to go and face God. You cannot see him. God is a secret. We, we, we are accessing by faith. So there are some of the things that you should not just disclose. Mm -hmm. There are things that you know about your family. You cannot go disclosing. 
There are things that you know about your friend, you cannot discuss him. So that is secret that you know. There are some secrets that are good. There is one time in the Bible that uh, God became tired of Saul as the king of Israel. And now he prepared, I will, I, will, I will look for a king that will govern the nation of Israel. The Bible says God spoke to Samuel and said, go in the house of Jesse mm -hmm. and anoint the king. And be careful, because if Saul realizes that you are going there, he will kill you. Yes. That means God himself is a God of secret. Mm, and that was a big secret That to was a kept. big secret. Go and anoint a king in the house of Jesse, that he may take over from Saul. Well. But keep it as a secret. Mm -hmm. Now, if this secret was disclosed, do you think that Saul would have remained that night? He would have been assassinated by, by King Saul. By King Saul. Mm -hmm. So there are some of the secrets that are good. Lakini kuna siri zingine ambazo ni atari katika maisha yetu. So lazima tuwe na ufahamu na tuwe na hekima. Kuna siri nzuri, kuna siri mbaya. Na ni vizuri tuwe na hekima, tuwe na ufahamu. Ya kwamba hii siwezi nika disclose, hii siwezi nika sema. So it is the highest time that we, we handle that. Ili tuweze kusaidika katika jina la yesu. Amen. Amen. Na venyo mesema hivyo, you have brought in the aspect of which secrets to disclose mm -hmm. and who to disclose to. That is the thing. So unapata aje iyo discernment ya kujua, this is the secret that I should tell someone. Because as you've given that example, mm -hmm. we have seen so many other examples in the Bible mm -hmm. where people are asked to keep a secret, yes. either for the Lord's glory or for their own protection, like with the coming of Jesus. Yes. When his birth was announced, it was kept secret from yes. the authorities. Mm -hmm. Samson, aliambiwa, hide the source of your power yes so how can you tell if this secret is good that if i keep it from my spouse mm -hmm. haita to affect in future right. or if this is this is something that is bad and i need to tell them before we get serious Kuna, that is a very good a very good and a very technical questions mm -hmm. now let, let's come to this Kuna, the bible says for as many as are led of the spirit they are the sons of god Kitu cha kwanza tuongeza sahiri ya watu ambao na mjua mungu. Kuna siri ambazo mungu atakuzuiria kabisa kusisema. Because when you disclose them, zitakuwa na negative effect in your family. For example, there is a man in our place, ambaye he was married. Lakini anakonjoa kwa kitanda. Now, this man, ameoa, lakini anakonjoa kwa kitanda. Now, Unafikia yu nikitu ya mbao, the wife can go and disclose. Yu nikitu ya kuombea, you don't even require wisdom or anything. You don't, ni understand in a wisdom. Ya kwamba niki disclose hii, imearibu my marriage. So you keep it and you pray for this man. And I'm telling you that lady was so powerful. Because she prayed for that man, baka kakua delivered. And the lady saved her marriage. Kwa hivu ni vizuri kujiuriza ni mambo gani ya mbao tunapaswa kueka kama siri. Na uangalia, if this thing that you are keeping as a secret, if you disclose it, it will affect you negatively. It can affect your children. Because if we imagine mtoto akuja kuria raish, akiwa amen grow, that my mom, I divorce my dad because of kwa kitanda. Unaona? So yes. it has a very negative effect. So the lady kept it as a secret. Unaona? Una mambo mengine unakute ya kwamba, lazima upime. Kuna mtu ambayo, maybe it's your husband, ukimwambia hii, italeta mambo mengine mabaya. So you give it time, you continue to pray for this man. Back at the appointed time, kuna secret ambayo, you can disclose it today. Kuna ingine itachukua three years. So that the, the heart of your spouse may be softened. Mm -hmm. Ile heze kuwa na ile capacity, ya kufanya nini? Ya, ya kubeba ile, ile secret. Mm -hmm. So lazima tupe, tuelewe capacity ya uyu mtu. Nikimfunuria if I disclose his secret, capacity yake ikona mna gani? Unaona? Yes. Capacity ya huyu mutu ikona mna? Unaona gani. kipanda kwa murima ukutane, very sorry to say this, lakini ukutane na kaprombox KEX, kakipanda kwa murima. Kako na capacity, doko sasa unajia, oh, kanaria, manake ni murima kanapanda. But come with a KDD V8, inapanda murima, ina, maana ikona capacity ya hii, engine. So lazima upime the capacity ya huyu mutu. Hii siri ni kifunua saizi, itakua na effect na mnagani. It is upon us to understand hile siri. Na tena number two, upime ya kwamba urafiki wako na huyo mtu. Huko na mnagani. Because the deeper you become in fellowship and in friendship, divo unaweka siri zile kubwa na divo unatunza ule ushirika usiaribike. 
So lazima upime u, ujiliza wote is the right time na ni siri gani napaswa kufunua na ni siri gani ambao sipaswa kufanya nini kufunua. I cannot even realize that your husband killed somebody and he buried him mm. Sasa hiyo siri ikiwekwa inaweza kuwa na negative effect in the family mm. because there are some of the people maybe you find that they killed somebody na akakoepa na hakuna mtu alijua the authorities did not know na ikaenda hivyo mm. so it is even better kuliko kukaa uko umeficha ni heri hiyo kitu ijulikane ufungwe miaka tano after kufungwa hiyo strong wound in the affect your families tayari imeshaondo maana mm. mtu akifanya mm. kosa na afungwe mm. inakuwa tayari ya kitu imefanya nini lakini ukanikipe tukute ya kwamba children are dying i know families unakuta ya kwamba every year they are burying somebody every year they are burying somebody mm. na ukitafiti vizuri kuna siri fulani in those families so lazima tujulize hizi siri ambazo tunaficha ni za aina gani ni siri za aina gani you cannot just go disclosing ya kwamba eh lazima tukue na wisdom na tuombe roho mtakatifu atusaidie na amba tu tukue na ile tunaitanga wisdom Everybody at the Ambaja but is around Takatif Naja or Hoka are gonna wisdom your discernment. You are able to discern your kwamba if I say this, it it has been a negative effect. So those secret Razima to zero in the series are inaga. The kin is idiotic and boy it affect generations and generations to come negatively. We need to disclose it. I have seen it even for for my about twenty years in the ministry. Nimeona watu wengi wanaficha siri inakuja kuharibu mambo you pray for these people wengine wako na magonjwa baka ya cancer and it came as a result of the secret ambao alificha unakuta mwingine alifanya uh, aliabort and they are married na haja iku disclose to the husband ya kwamba mimi niliafya mimba mm. sasa hiyo siri unakuta for 10 15 years hawapati mtoto i prayed for a couple that understand for 11 years lakini after ku research nikauliza nataka kujua kuna kitu inaendelea hapa. Aniambia tuko sawa. But the Lord spoke to me that this is the day about end. Uh, Wakati niliwaita nikamwambia kuna siri umeficha. Then they cried of course na akatubu kwa mzee wake. Ilikuwa vita kubwa manake waliachana kama 3 months then I reconciled them back. But I'm telling you after disclosing that secret she just conceived. Kwa hivyo kuna siri zingine ambazo tunaficha zinaleta negative effect in our families zinaleta negative effect even in our life zinafanya unakuta kuna siri ulifanya inafanya hata ukiingia mahali pa kazi unapata kazi mwezi mmoja inapotea after two months because of the secret ambayo uko nayo so ni vizuri tuulize Mungu hizi secret ambazo tunaficha zina tu affect namna gani mm-hmm. na kama ina negative effect just disclose, disclose it. it and be prepared to carry the cross and after that you shall be totally delivered mm. lakini kama kuna siri umeficha hata ukikaa na mna gani hata unjificha na mna gani itakuwa na negative effect mm. so tuombe mungu ya kwa most of the marriages have been broken most of the friendships have been broken mari ungeenda mbali unakuta ya kwamba umezuiliwa because of a particular secret. there are so many people that have great destinies sherio wako na nyota kubwa wako na destiny kubwa sana lakini zile siri wameficha zimewazuilia manake secret kuna kitu na create in the spiritual realm inaitangwa a dark covering ina create sitara sasa hiyo sitara ku break kupita spiritually inakuwa ngumu sana but when you open up when you disclose that na watu wanasema sasa manake umefunguka moyo i have spoken a blessing over your life hiyo kitu inafanya mara moja unakuta umeshoot mm. so secret is going a negative effect So it has that are more negative than the more positive in effect. fact ne- negative effect dio kubwa. Mm. Iko na great magnitude ya effect ile iko nayo katika maisha ya mtu. Unapoificha inakuwa effect so bad. So it is my prayer ya kwamba kama kuna siri umeficha na sio nzuri please disclose it because I want to promise you ni ngumu sana ku break ku break it through. Barrier. It is mm. very difficult to break the barrier. Mm. Na ndio watu wengi baka wamejiwa. Me uh, when I'm saying this because for 20 years Serving people I na watu wanajua hii pastors tunaletoa mambo mengi yes. you hear so many things people come from every corner lakini unapoangalia huyu mtu kuna siri fulani ameficha wengine walikunywa wanifanya human sacrifice wengine walichukua kuku akapelekea wachawi lakini hawezi akataka watu wanjue so hiyo kitu because ni spirit was hiyo kitu physical inaku affect na huwa watoto wako inaleta miscarriages inaleta magonjwa mengine terminal infections zina watu wako na even most of the diseases unaona leo ni siri fulani watu wameficha 
Mm. Si ati ni magonjo ya Mungu. Yeah. Ni magonjo ambayo inatokana na siri ambazo timefichwa. Mm. Marriage breakdown. Watoto wanakuwa mashoga. Mm. Unakuta kijana amekuwa shoga. Ana behave funny. So unakuta those things ni effect ya siri ambazo zimefichwa in families. Mm. Kwa hivyo ninaomba Mungu ya kwamba eh, wale ambao wanatusikia siku ya leo na kuna siri umeweka it is my prayer you disclose it. Na unaweza kutafuta not just to everybody kama kuna siri unaona in, by, get a man of God. Mm. Most strongly Do, not just anybody just get a man of God ambaye ako na mafuta ya Mungu na watu wanapokuja kwa kwetu tunafanya mikataba ya kwamba hiyo kitu tumeongea inaishi hapo. Mm. When you open up, period. Last Sunday I was preaching, na niki ubiri ya I just called for the other call. And a lady came, nikaona danda amekuja crying. She came for the other call crying. Nilipo kwa niki na muombea, the Lord spoke to me, ya kwamba kuna siri ya likuwa meweka. Uh. And the, when the Lord spoke to me, nika mwekea, mikuwa nika mwambia na kuna kitu menificha akaka 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 lakini sanda ni akaniambia mimi acha tu ni disclose reverend nili nilitoa mimba so hiyo kitu after kumuombea nilisikia kuna amani imeshuka in my spirit and i released it to her so wakati ambapo siri imefunuliwa kuna inner peace that one experiences and i want to tell you share you and everybody that is listening to us kama kuna siri umeweka inakuanga huko ndani na kukura pole pole unaona mtu anatembea but kuna shida you are just a walking corpse the bible says they are walking corpses unakuta juu ya hiyo siri unaona mtu yako sawa nje kama vile eh, raisha alisema ya kwamba the situation of this city looks so good from outside mm. and the place looks nice but the waters are bitter <laughs> and the land is barren kuna element of bitterness na barrenness ndani okay. ya mtu wakati ambao kuna siri ambayo ni mbaya aliweka mm. na anja haiku disclose mm. but immediately you disclose it you unasikia you, you feel that you are released you feel that you are uko sawa na milango inaanza kufungukia mm. so it is my prayer that every negative secret shall, shall be disclosed, be disclosed. From today. na napenda hata you've, you've given some very very good points mm. in that that nini answer that you've given yes. umesema first mm. of all that most things are spiritual it's a stronghold that will hold you and affect other generations yes. and i want our audience to understand mm. in amanisha it's it's it happens in the spirit before it happens in the physical Precisely. and when something has held you in the spirit even if you break it in the physical mm -hmm. it is very hard to break it this so is that it. is one thing that i want our audience to understand mm. to kiendelea na him and it. also you have mentioned mm. the effect of these secrets yes. on our health yeah. on our physical lives mm. and in our families mm -hmm. so why does it affect our health nini inafanya isi rinyo unaweka inafanya you get sick or you get barren if someone in the case where someone aborted mm -hmm. and did not disclose yeah, so like, is that a punishment or what happens or kama ni stress ndo inafanya what is it exactly that will make that secret affect you physically that is a very good question kuna secret siri kuna mambo mawili kuna mambo ya spiritual na kuna mambo sasa ya physical anxiety wakati ambao kuna kitu ndani ya moyo wako umeficha hiyo kitu inakusumbua psychologically imagine if you are married to a man and uh, this man you are married to you have a child of country na unjai kumwambia kile kinakusumbua kina ndani ya kwamba akinjua leo what will happen hiyo tayari ime create anxiety eh? uko ndani ya moyo wako so in other word baka afya ya mwili inaanza kuwa affected unakuta ya kwamba mwili ume hauna afya maana kuna kitu inakusumbua ni kama mtu akiwa na stress mi naona kama mtu akiwa na stress unaona mpaka amekaa wengine wanaenda hivyo inatoka hivyo mpaka inaingia depression maana ni kitu umebeba akili yako inakuwa fatigued inachoka and na unja ilirish unajua kitu ambao umerilish tayari hiyo imetoka na mwili wako unasikia kabisa na unaanza kuwa na afya so most of the time these sicknesses come as a result because what you are hiding unasikia ndani ya moyo wako the conscience kuna kitu inaitwa conscience dhamiri ya mtu conscience ya mtu inakuanga very pure inatakanga purity inatakanga truth mm -hmm. na when you are hiding something conscience yako itakuwa inakuhukumu nikwambia mm -hmm. why don't you speak this thing kwa nini umeficha hiki kitu kwa nini unifanya hivi somebody that may be a botend 
sasa ile damu yale mtoto si inamuliria even in a dreams inapo kuria in the dream it becomes inaanza kukudisturb hiyo kitu inakaa ikirudia maana yake wengine hata wanasumbulia through dreams aliua ndoto inakuja yale damu ya yule mtu do you remember in the book of genesis wakati ambapo Cain aliua Abel maandiko sema ya kwamba Mungu alipokuja akamwambia the blood of Abel is crying inanilia kutoka kwa mcha so any time you cause abortion or you miscarry you, you kill a somebody damu ya huyo mtu inakuliria and more strongly inakuliria even the dreams na ikigaza ukusumbua unakuta hata mtu alali maana hiki kitu inakuja kila waka kila so hivi inavyoeka ikikunja ikikunja inaku affect mambo ya afya mm. au muziki au tuli sasa unakuta inaanza kuleta magonjwa mengine ndani ya kwa physical life physical now mm. life sasa... now i think we can all agree even our audience you yes. can agree that senye uko na mawazo nyingi when you're stressed out yes. you really physically express it yes. so i want to briefly go to our comments you have mm. some you have written us some comments mm. i believe we'll go to facebook mm. so to tanzana david miendo osiesa sangalo says mm. i'm listening thank you so much david mm. waweru wa keyboard says following thank you waweru mm. bossy junior says breakups so is that what you're afraid of bossy we want to understand that sandra cassandra says it poisons the whole family it can be extremely harmful leading to anxiety shame trust issues mm. resentment stress and sometimes the use of addictive substances as a coping mechanism mm. that is a very good point sandra and yes that is the impact of secrets to kona denis langat who says watching live from kericho thank you so much denis mm. to kona okumu samuel karvajal who says secrets are secrets they are good to keep but if they are bad secrets the secret keeper will suffer the consequences if known mm -hmm. and okumu that is exactly what we have been talking about sasa based on that we mm. have understood everyone has secrets mm. and you need to disclose the negative secrets that will affect your spouse mm. and your family so i want to take a very short break and then we will come back and address mm. venye sasa in affect generations that come after us yeah. so stay tuned to y254 tv my name is Cheryl blessing and you are watching power talk welcome back <laughs> and thank you for sticking to y254 tv mm. my name is Cheryl blessing and this is power talk mm. and before we went on a break we were trying to understand how can we deal with family secrets mm. and joining me is bishop patrick moniki who has taken us through how these secrets come about and the effect they have on us physically mm. and our partners mm. so now bishop nataka tuende kuangalia mm. the children mm -hmm. the family because you know we have once you get into a marriage and mm -hmm. then you start forming a family mm -hmm. and you have kept a secret that might affect them yes. let's say the husband mm -hmm. the father has kept a secret that he has another family mm -hmm. or he had other children before mm -hmm. how can these secrets affect the dynamic mm -hmm. of the family when you want relate na watoto mm -hmm. him and his wife how do these secrets affect the family dynamic that is very good share eh? mm -hmm. uh, you come to realize ya kwamba <laughs> siri zote ambazo mtu anaweka azimu affect yeye peke yake like now if i have a secret to ask my wife hiyo siri na flow to the children in fact watoto uh, fahari wawili wakipigana nyasi ndio inaumia you can't realize that most of the people are wanakuwa affected ni watoto na wale watoto wana flow in the same pattern maana ameona kwamba kama baba look at most of the families that are the father married two wives you can't realize that one becomes now a generational stronghold even the children atakuwa na uoga wa kuoa tu wives now if <laughs> ukiliarize ya kwamba katika familia huyu mzee alipo alioa bibi wawili hiyo roho ina flow mm. to the children kama mama alikuwa msherati na ako na, na mume na ako na, na side chick nasikia akisema side chick <laughs> ama <laughs> ama mpango wa kando it will be very difficult ya kwamba ukute msichana wake akigrow atakuwa na uoga na yeye wa kuwekwa kam, kama mpango wa kando so you see hii ni kitu ambayo imeanzia kama siri lakini sasa imeanza ku affect children pore pore either kuna various zitaondolewa zita kwa watoto ambao tunaye because when you are raising up children there are values that you need still in the children unaonyesha ya kwamba hivi ndivyo mtu anakaa as a man hivi ndivyo unapaswa ukawa with your wife 
if you leave your mepaso will come with your children. Sasa kama the father failed. Eh? Kwa kuweka mipango ya kando, anaingia kwa nyumba, anaweka siri, na akiulizo na mke wake, anamchapa. Na what are you transferring to your children? Mm. Maana kiri ambacho unafanya exactly that is how if you leave your toto wako wanakua. I remember of a family, the father was a very great smoker. A chain smoker hali ambu anasmoka na vuta zigara anaweka. Siku moja I visited that family, manake ni, ni cousin. Nikakuta the father was not there. Lakini kijana yake, he was in form two. Nilikuta, nilikuta na ye hile, hile, zile, zile fio taza zigara. Afuti, lakini anachukua, unafanya hivi, anatingiza. Because, kwa ke hiyo, that is what the father is doing. So, any secret that you keep, anything that you do, it has a negative effect to children. Na sasa, kamu mtoto sasa ameaza kuwa affected na mna hiyo. Sinale, ewade watoto wataza, watakuwa na mna hiyo. Na huyo mtoto unakuta ya kwamba he is not even fit in the society. Danda ambaya meona baba yake akichukua mpango wa kando. Ama mama yake akiwa amewe kwa mpango wa kando. Na huyo msichana amengru. Na ya amewe kwa mpango wa kando. Effect ni gani? Ni ya kwamba the society will know ya kwamba huyo ndanda kazi yake ni kuyaribu families. Na dionanga mtu wamepangiwa watu wanashikana wanamuchapa. Iyo kitu na sasa imetriko ndao ni vizuri sana, lakini dianzia kama siri fulani imewe. imewe so kwa. what I'm trying to say ni ya kwamba, ni vizuri tukue careful. Because what we are doing, we are doing them for our children. Mm. If you become a millionaire today, it is not a one that the same spirit is transferred to your children. They will become millionaires. In fact, somebody told me that if you work with five millionaires, the you possibility become automatically become the sixth. Mm. Sasa nao kikaa na waizi tano, Kuna possibility that you become the sixth thief. <laughs> Man, you may tap into that spirit. Man is a spirit in the first place. It is better we understand that. That man has got three things. The body, the spirit, and the soul. The soul, your sasa, you have mind, you have emotion, you have will. Sasa, spirit, ya mutu, you have connect. You have connect na hile mambo, you have yake. Na you have connect na hile mambo, you have to do sometimes you dream of something and it comes to pass. Like now, if I dream somebody blessing me, if he kamaliza zikumbiri, because he is spiritual. Sasa, he nayo inakua transferred. Unakuta kinjana hako na roya wizi. Because the father was a thief. Alikuwa naiba kuku za watu, anaiba pesa, anakorapti even in government. Kwa za wale watu ambao, they are stealing from government. Wanjue kuna shida, because that is spirit unapo ipokea, unai transfer to your children. And it will affect you so negatively. So, man is a spirit. Tuwelewe hivyo. Because hata wakati mtu wanakufa, siya tikuna kitu inatendeka, ni spirit inaenda. Na hiyo spirit inakuwa njaji maake, spirit ya mtu, siyo kama ya wanyama. Mnyama hakichinjwa kazi imeisha hivyo. Lakini mtu hakona uwezo wa mawazo, mind, emotions, hakona will, hakona creative power. Sasa hiyo soo yako, haikufi. Hata mm. <laughs> ukikufa, one day you meet the maker. Mm. So lazima tulea kwamba, hizo ziri tunaweka, usione tuni yako. Iyo siri, iyo mambo watu wanaweka. Ina effect very negative to the generations to come. Mm. Uh, in the Bible, there is somebody that I have called Uriah. Now, David, in the book of Asa, Samuel chapter 11, you can tell him that he has said that Samuel and Daudi are the people of Uriah. And what did David do? He said that he was a commander. He said that he was a commander. He said that he was a commander. Haka batia njoa. Haka muambia, hii barua ni mekupatia. Enda, uweke nani? Uweke uria in the front line of the battle. Hili wakati ya ndiyo atakunja. Mufanya nini? Jeshi irudi nyuma, arafu daudi, arafu uria amalizo. Do you know the person that carried that letter? Alikuwa ni uria. The person that carried it. To the commander. Nali ambuwa nda daudi, peleka hili barua na usiangali. Imebeba siri ya kumumaliza. Are you seeing the dangers of secret? So at the end of the day, wakati ya bapo, vita ilichacha. Maana njoa butayari ya meona na amerewa ya kwamba na paso kuweka uria at the front line of the battle. The Bible says ya kwamba wakati ya nduyo walikuja. Walipiga uria, wakamua. Then David, dami ya mwaki ya likuwa na secret. Ya kwamba upende uzipende. Nataka bibi yako. Nataka bibi yako. What was the next thing? Bibi ya semi ya kwamba alipo chukua bibi yake. Si alipata mtoto. Laikuwa inaitua Badisheba. Secret hii tayari imezaa mtoto. Lakini what happened? 
Mungu akakasirika. The child died. Hii ni siri imebebwa na umze. Ikafichwa, imeenda ikizaa death. Hmm. So secret have a death effect hmm. in the family. Negative hmm. secret. And also, yes. once to expound on that. Yes. First before if you missed the first segment, yeah. we were talking about the spiritual stronghold that secrets have. Yes. So I want to also understand <coughs> tukikuja kwa bado hapo kwa family. Yes. If we come and find out, yeah. We've had cases of children finding out they were adopted. Alafu unapata umtoto labda na uwa family yake or they find other coping mechanisms like drugs they get into terrible lifestyles mm-hmm. so i want to understand your effect ya umtoto ku discover a secret enye maybe mzazi ameweka for so many years since their childhood and then they discover it when they are older Just in our affect aj au watoto if we imagine share you growing knowing that this is your biological father only to realize after 20 that years mm. that is not your father Unafikiri itakuwa na effect namna gani? Maana utaanza kujiuliza na sasa mimi sauce yangu ni gani? Nilitoka wapi? But what if this mother or this man, the parents, wangekana mtoto amwambie sisi tuliku adopt. Unaona? Akiwa mdo? Akiwa mdogo. Mimi nasema train up the child the way he shall go and he shall not depart from that way. Huyu mtoto wakati umemwambia adopt akiwa na miaka 3 ama miaka 4 ama miaka 5, unaenda ukimwenda kumwambia and I am not your biological mother. I'm not your biological father. Lakini niliku adopt. Na nina kupenda sana. Uyo mtoto atanza kukonifest by himself. Mi mamu usiniambia hivyo. I'm just comfortable. I have seen it. Unakuta mtoto wata anania. Anasema. In the church we see people ambu unakuta. The husband married this lady. Katoto kakiwa na miaka tatu. Amekalea. Akakarea. Akakarea. Uku nchu. Manaki aliambua. Anasema. Mi hata saa kujua uyo baba. Maana haku nire. Alinizana akanitupa. So unaona hiyo siri imekuwa disclose. Na huyu mtoto anaenda akiwa comfortable na anapokea that love hata kama you know the biological mother. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Sasa so, lakini ukificha ndio unakuta kule njua amejua akiwa na 25 years. Atakataji kurekia mandawa ya kurevia na anataka kukopu na stress. Hata mm-hmm. atajidarau aseme mimi hata I don't know my source. Mimi hata sio hii familia. Hata ukiona tunaendesha hizi magari hata mimi sio huku. Huyo mtoto atajichukia. And I have seen a man, I have seen people unakuta they are over 40 50 years. Lakini hawakujua that wale wazazi wale waliwalea sio their biological parent. Mm. Unakuta huyo mwanaume ana ile maso ya mwanaume anakaa tu just hivyo. Yaani yaeleweki mm. ni wiki. It's mm. just a week of vessel. Kwa sababu, anje leo the point of identity. Mm. Hakuambiwa ha, ha, you siri. Hakuambiwa ya kwamba, ni kweli sisi tunakulea. But it is very important to kuambie, we are not your biological parent. Mm. And mm. I think hapo hata, yes. tu, tu nini hapo, right. hapo you've given a very, very clear example. When you tell this child, yeah. akigroa kijua, babangu, alini adapt ama mm. uyu alioa mamangu akanichukua then it's easier for them to understand yes. because you even have discussions of tulikutoa wapi ulianzaje how mm-hmm. did we get here yes. but without that conversation mtu anabaki na hizo maswali that and then it. you keep wondering if i ask my parents will they tell me the truth mm-hmm. and also now i want to bring it to our relatives to ongeze sa relatives hapa yes. i'm rushing a bit because time yeah. i go on our side mm. Relatives waki, waki wa siri. Let yes. me give a very clear example because this sometimes happens in yes. the African mm-hmm. community. Mm-hmm. Mtu ameoa bibi, mm-hmm. they try to have a child, mm-hmm. they do not conceive for so many years. Yes. Wakena kwa daktari wanapata the wife is okay, but the husband might not be able to give children. Mm. Yes. And that usually affects the African male or just any man mm-hmm. generally. Yes. Amo tunaeka isiri, mm-hmm. let no one know. Hata mamake, mzazi, wazazi, wasijue. Right. Then later on you find the relatives wanatukana the woman. Mm-hmm. And coming against, uh, after her saying that you're the one, you're barren, you mm-hmm. can't do this. Mm-hmm. But your siri ameweka. Yes. How do you, how do you handle a situation like that? Na relatives wakikuja into play. Na you have a secret that you have to preserve for your family to maintain your family and your marriage. Na, that is what we are talking about. Mm. Mambo ya kuficha siri. Mm. Ni vizuri kukana undisclose. Share with your family. Na hata ufanya even your children waerea kwamba this is to your adult because of this and this and this. Unaona? Because your father akona shida ama your mother akona shida. Sasa kama watu wanaeza kukaa chini. Kutoka pare chini. Because they live on the source. 
no things from the source. Disclose as you grow up the ladder. Kuwe kuna transparency. Wanjua sasa hii sisi zingine unakuta ya kwamba mama anaficha hii, mzee anaficha hii. Kama una uwezo wa kuzaa, kwa ni makosa yako? Iyo ni kitu ambao ni biological. Lakini nakuta sasa hizo series inafanya mbaka even the society, even the members of the family. Wanasema umu wanamuke ya mekataa kuzalia huyu, hii mekaa hivi. Sasa iyo mambo yote inakuwa na mna hiyo. Na ni vizu sometimes even you come to realize hata kama your husband ana ngufu. That she is not able to sire a woman. Ana hile ngufu ya kupea mama mimba. Just open it to the society. Injurikane. Let the family members know. Wasi kuja kuzeme ya kwamba mwana mke ndia kona shida. Lakini kume mdanda ana shida. Ni mzee ya kona shi. Na nanjua even in the African communities. Kukikosekana mtoto in the family. Watu ya naraumu mama. It's the woman. Wanaraumu, mm. de, wanaraumu mama. Na tena unakuta mama ana shida. Na unakuta hata even. Kama kuna shida kwa mama hata even the uh, customs. Uliku naona ya kwamba kuna mama alikuwa na wa mwana mke. Akisha mwana zema hile mtoto atazariwa ataitua wa. Wangu. So it is there. It is even there legally. Lakini vizuri ya kwamba kuwe na transparency. This close secret kama hiyo mimi nikiwa mama. Yuri ambaye nisikiriza. Ni tambia the members of the family. Mutoto wenu ndi ya kona shida. Hakuna anji ya kuficha. Haku mina zama mtu. Ni nawambia ukweli mutoto wenu ndi ya kona shi. Hakuna shida. Sasa muzikuja kuniambia ni fanya test. Manaya kuniambia ni fanya test. Ngama kuniambia ni toke inje ni. Na it is not allowable. Like that is the reason as to why we have adopted child A, child B, child C. So ni vizuri kuwe na iyo. Kuwe na transparent. But how do you get to that transparent? Apo ndo. Utafika aje. Ufike pointe nye unasema. Buwana yangu ni hivi. Ama my child. How do you get to that point? where you feel like you can disclose a secret. Because kuna zenye ni, ni deep sana. These, those deep things, the Bible mm. calls, the book, Bible says in the book of Psalms 42 verse 7, deep calls to the deep at the yes. voice of the word of God. It is very, iyo kitu nasikia ni very deep. Iyo, hapo ndiyo mambo iko. Na usiyogope, me I cannot, if ya nita disclose, ni semi ya kwamba kijana yenu, ako A, B, C, D. Ni tandisclose ni semi ya kwamba mustiana wenu ako A, B, C, D. Na sinja sema hivyo hili ni mutupe. No, 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 no. Unajua kama watu leza kudisclose isi hili vizuri, in fact inaanza kuwa the strong point. Unakuta hiyo familia imekuwa bordered. Unajua secret zikiwa zina weekend the family. Mukidisclose hiyo siri vizuri, unadisclose na sema ya kwamba mimi nilikuwa, weta unazaha ama uzai, zita kutupa. Sasa si umefanya hiyo familia ikuwe strong. Na unasemi ya kwamba, now this is what you are going to do. We shall adopt the child. And by the way, let me tell you, there are people that have adopted children. I want to hope ya kupata mtoto. And at the end of it, oh, mungu ya nafanya mungiza. Unakuta wa mepata mto. Maana hii siri ikiwa. Lakini yu siri ikiwa. God cannot come through for those families. So, however painful it might appear, sometimes to disclose a secret. At the end of the day, disclosing a secret is ten times better than concealing a secret. Hmm. Nata, I want to go back to even the way you mentioned. There's an example you gave. Yes. You find out someone killed someone or something very big. Labda aliba, manini. How can you utajaja jiki to ethically? Ujue atakama miniambia isiri, I should go to the authorities. How can you judge situations? Ujue which should I tell people lama report or something that you can deal with it ethically? You can inquire. Tusemu kwa vano, somebody killed. Na tayari mwesha wana. Can I say something, Cheryl? Mukiwana na mtu, tumbesa sa in marriage. Mukiwana na mtu, una pick their strength and their weakness. Because the Bible says, two shall become one. Siri ambayo your spouse ame feature, ata kama ukukua hapo ita to affect. Because God sees you as one. Now, if you know that this thing that this man is hiding is going to affect me, affect my children, affect my health, affect my society, extended a nuclear family. Sasa hiyo siri, sinieri mukae chini, mutafute mbinu. Look for a way. Eitha mutanzi ya dhuru kwa chief. Mujue vile muneza kufanya ikitu. Iyo kitu na njua. When you become your heart and your mind is psychologically prepared, I will disclose this. Iyo kitu mukianza kui disclose na mna hiyo, utakuta mungu wa mefungua njia. You can go even to lawyers. You can even go to a local chief. Mukaiti mwambia na hii, na hii, na hii. Iritende? How can you help me? And I know the authorities watakua na njia. Na rafu kutoka hapo. 
enda how can it's like he's staying with a husband and back wana buduki kwa nyumba wakati itakuja kupatikana wewe na yeye kutatendeka aji mm, si it is better you carry because uh, you are parties to that crime sasa it is better you disclose this thing on time mm -hmm. and i'm saying this kuna kitu tumesema share you that uh, could disclose the secret is your ic lazima tukubaliane tukubaliane hapo mm -hmm. kuna siri zingine kuzifunua sio raisi mm. sio raisi because you have stayed maybe in a marriage 20 years haujapata mtoto kumbe there is a botet na hiyo kitu imekaa ikiwasumbu na unaona sasa effect ya kupoteza 20 years unaweza ku disclose hivyo hiyo ndoa isha sasa sasa lazima tujue ya kwamba disclosing a secret is not easy so what we need to do is first of all pray about it Let's ask for the guidance and the leading by the Spirit. Then from there, consult the right people. Mm. If it's a spiritual leader, go to him. If it's a government leader, go to him. Consult. Just do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, to keep feature is also a negative effect, effect in our family. Like in to keep it this close, to keep it where it's very bad, it's very bad. Kama mama, kama mzee, alikuwa mewa tena. Please don't hide it from your wife. Mwambia hata kama ni yeri wende, turudiani after two years. Lakini tukua tumegonga nini? That is stronghold. Mana imejijenga in the realm of the spirit. So kwangu mimi naona ya kwamba tusifiche. Lakini tukombe wisdom ya disclosure. Mm. Mana tukikosa tena wisdom. Mwena sema nani katikati yenu wana ya kima. Aombe mungu wa mbinguni ya mpatia wii. Wisdom. wisdom. So all we need is a wisdom to disclose some secret. Mm. Na kuna zingine mungu atakombia don't. Na hata kuponya tu. Mm. Na unaitaji yu discernment. You yes. need to have that discernment. You need discernment. to have the discerning spirit. Unjue ni siri gani ya mbao ya kudisclose. Na ni gani ya mbao sifanyi kupanya nini. Kuifungua hili watu wa injue. So mm. iyo that those are the effect ambao ziko. Tuko zi, siri ziko nazo. Mm. Ziko na nakanda ta venye ulisema pia. Yes. Consult the right people. The right people being very key. Yes. So nataka ni, ni seme. After yes. umidisclose hii siri. Yes. Labda trust imevunjika kidogo. Mm -hmm. How can you build this trust? Mm -hmm. And do you think when you may mention spiritual leaders. Yes. Maybe a therapist. Yes. Is it important to involve our watu. Mm -hmm. Kwa hiyo sasa tuseme kwa ndoa sasa. You you're married is, yeah. with your children. Yes. Is it important to involve these people so that you can build back your trust that and you may lose? Very good question. If you disclose a secret maybe to a spiritual leader, as a pastor or as a bishop, we have wisdom of how to begin to rebuild this family again. Because the purpose of disclosing this secret is not to break marriage. It's not to break fellowship. It's not to break a relationship. Uh -huh. mm. It is not to break friendship. The purpose of disclosing this secret is to strengthen a friendship or a marriage. Sasa, ah, watu kisha funua siri kwao, wanaeza kukusaidia to build up again. Wanaeza kukusaidia spiritually, kukunourish, kukuombea, kukusaidia in counseling, kukupea na hata kama imeenda zaidi, you can even direct somebody to go to a counselor. Ata kusaidia on how to build up. Again, na mi ni meo na ata watu na sema trust cannot be built. It can. You can build it again. As long as you have a broken heart and you are prepared to forgive. Unajua kia kinafanyanga sheri yu tukatae kunini ni kiburi. Ni kiburi mekalia watu. Mutu nasikia, mi siwezi kagwa gwa. Siwezi kaenda chini ya. Mi naenda ni kie. Sasa yu kiburi na kwa kushika. Unasikia yu on top kia. You cannot go down. Iyo ndiyo kitu imemaliza most of the marriages. But if we can understand, ya kwamba we should not keep atupasi kuweka grunge. When you disclose a secret, I'm not supposed to keep grunge. Ni nakuchukia na kia kuangalia na sema, uyu diya mefanya niteseke hivyo. No, we are supposed to forgive and forgive and even help that person that has disclosed the secret to build himself up again. So ni sisi na paso ya mefunua siri tumushike te. Because the Bible says we are our brother's keeper. In a marriage, we are our brother's keeper. In a society, we are our brother's keeper. Ukiona mutu wa kiyangu kauta muajiria, tiwacha tu ya kanyangu wa nagari, siniye murevi. Hii gari vile naona inakuja, siya mekunyo, sifombe ni yake, pesa ni yake. Si utajaribu kumuokoa. We are our brother's keeper. And I know that we can build up the marriage again. Lakini tumekubaria na leo. Siri zifunuriwe. Unless hile mungu wa mekuambia usito. Usitoe, but disclose your secret. That is it. And I also want, as we go to our comments, nataka tutarudi to address 
venye tunaweza saidia watu wa kuona hiyo environment ya wana feel they can share. Mm -hmm. So let me go to the comments. Thank you so much you have sent us some comments. Let me sample them. We have Tony Tosh on uh, this is Facebook or I believe it's Facebook. We have Tony Tosh who says eventually they backfire and cause more harm than good. Yes Tony, we are in agreement mm -hmm. on that. Kidiga Danson says fantastic. Thank you so much for watching us. Kerry Trevor says Following up quietly from Kianjokoma Embu, Asanti Sana. So, mm. so now that has been our, our Facebook, the, the comments that you've sent us. Thank you so much for engaging with us. Nataka to Malize conversation because time is not on our side. Mm. By wrapping up, how you can create an environment and you feel neza open up. Mm -hmm. So here too briefly, we can do it maybe in under a minute, I believe. Mm -hmm. Here and then your final comments to our audience. Mtu mwenye na watch na labda kona siri and they are just about to start a, a family mm -hmm. or they are already, they've started a family. Mm -hmm. Ama watoto wenye wamekua affected na siri. Mm -hmm. How can you advise them to cope with that? The Bible says in the book of Proverbs 28, 13, that he that conceals a secret shall perish. But he that confesseth his sin shall prosper. If uh, to kificha siri, to naangamia. Lakini to napo ifunua, na to napo kubariana ya kwamba hivi divi irivio. The Bible says we shall prosper. We should create a good environment. The Bible says love covers a multitude of sin. Lazima to jifundishe kupenda watu. Najua kile kinaweza kufanya mutu aone kabisa hata kufunuria siri. Mutu anasikia kure ndani, hakuna ule upendo wa kweli. Na njue ni kiambia huyu ya mari, lakini kama for sure kuna upendo wa kweli. Hata kama hiyo kitu ilikuwa na mnagani, you will be prepared to forgive the person. So kitu cha kwanza tunapasa kukreate ni an environment ya upendo. Environment ambao haina hypocrisy. Environment ambao ikona genuine love. That's the only thing. Tunaweza kuongea mambo mengi sana. But the only thing that can cause people to confess their sin, ni ya kwamba akiwa sure, if I confess, I'll be forgiven. Na utafongifu na mtu na mna gani? Because you love him from your heart. Aina unafiki. Lakini kama nile upendo ya conditions. He, nikikupata hivi. Kimeumana. Ikiwa hivi, tumeachana. So kama kuna genuine love, even for the society, for the members of our family, for the spouses, if there is genuine love, uyo mtu atasikia. Hata kama nitaambia uyo mtu, nilitoa mimba tano. Atakua tayari kunisamehe. Because the Bible says love covers a multitude of, of sin. sin. Not a single sin. When we are talking about Many multitude. Sins. In fact, the Bible says we should forgive 40 times, 70 times 7 in a day. Sasa kama mtu atasikia kabisa huyu mtu ana upendo genuine, ana unafiki, atakosaje ukufunuria siri. Lakini akijua ni kikufunuria, huyu mtu anakuanga tuwa menueka hivi hivi. Mm. So, Thank you. Yeah. Mm. And that is very, very good and precise. Asante sana, Bishop Mwaniki. Yes. And I hope you've gotten something from this conversation. We have dropped so many gems that na hope uta pick up and go on with them. Mm. So I want to read our parting shot, which will sum up our entire conversation for today. Mm. And this is by Tyler Perry, who says, Forgiveness is important in families. Especially when there are so many secrets that need to be healed. For the most part, every family has got them. Mm. And that sums up our conversation. And it takes us back to what Bishop said as we were beginning. Mm. Every person has a secret. You have to understand who you should disclose to and when is the right time. Mm. Do not affect your future generations because you decided that one secret was too big for you to share with them. Mm -hmm. And that is it for today. I hope you have enjoyed our show. My name is Cheryl Blessing, and this has been Power Talk. Mm -hmm. A repeat of this show will be there tomorrow. I believe it's from 1 p.m., Timo. Yes, it starts at 1 p.m. tomorrow and goes till 2 p.m. In case you're unable to watch that, you can find us on our YouTube page where we have other videos of our previous episodes as well. Thank you so much to the entire production team. Thank you for your time, taking your time to watch us and engage with us. We look forward to hosting you again. Mm. Same time next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>